Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about Ryan Switzer. Mainly, we're going to predict how many yards this guy may get for us this season, all right? What are the expectations for this guy? And that kind of thing, all right? So this is serious. Cowboy more time because we're talking about a guy here who was drafted in the fourth round. Already doing things here. Obviously, you know, these are without pads and that kind of thing, but with Beasley and Lucky Whitehead out with hamstring issues and that kind of thing he was able to capitalize on the chance here no he's got a lot of love here in the offseason here OTAs and that kind of thing mini camps coming up now but at the end of the day this is Beasley's team still he's the main weapon here at the slot position so what kind of production can we see from Ryan Switzer here in his rookie year okay he's 22 years old He'll be 23 in November. So this guy still has a lot of youth in him. Cole Beasley, however, 28 years old, all right? Uh, the receivers here for the Cowboys, mainly, uh, obviously, Dez and Beasley here, they're approaching the late 20s here. So you got to you gotta like what the Cowboys are doing here in the draft. This is a methodical pick. This guy could just be right in line here to be the eventual starter here for Beasley. Obviously, getting both these guys on the field at the same time could pay off big dividends but at the end of the day you know this guy could be the future there um so we'll have to see what what he does here as far as the history of some of these slot receivers um let's take a look at some of the numbers here okay so going by pro football talks top five slot receivers number one guy here jarvis landry all right his rookie year 84 catches, 758 yards with five touchdowns, all right? So, obviously, these guys run a little bit different offense, obviously, but at the same time, this guy was a big weapon for them, all right? Number two on their list, Julian Edelman from the Cheat Uh 37 catches, 359 yards. His rookie year, he really didn't get going until about 2013. I think that's around the time here that Wells Welker got out of the picture. So his production numbers started going up, all right? So he became the number one target there. The Patriots, they like their, they have something going there with their slot receivers. I almost feel like the Cowboys, um, you know, may try to mimic that or add that into their, their game plan here. And they really did that when Scott Linehan took over here in 2014. You know, the passing coordinator then eventually became the offense coordinator. And that's number three here, Cole Beasley. His numbers started going up here when Scott Linehan came on board. He utilizes the slot receivers, okay? Scott Linehan, he uses these guys. He knows how to get them in the soft spots here and, and hurt the defense. First downs, okay? That's what Cole Beasley does. He's able to break hard, get the first down. He knows where the first down marker is at, okay? And I feel like that's what Ryan Switzer is. Um, all right, so the number four guy here on Pro Football Talks list, Doug Baldwin. His rookie year, 51 catches, 788 yards, four touchdowns. That's pretty good, right? Number five, Willie Sneed, 69 catches, 984 yards, three touchdowns. All right, so at the end of the day, really, it is hard to predict what Switzer is going to get his rookie year. All right, I almost think that his his career arc is gonna match Julian Edelman. All right, Wells, I mean um, Cole Beasley is the equivalent to Wes Welker. So once he you know finishes his contract, Switzer may become the number one slot receiver there, and his numbers will go up, jump up high. Okay, so but uh, starting off early here, I don't expect too much yardage from him. I'm going to be guessing around 30 catches, 400 yards, five touchdowns, that kind of thing, okay? Um, that's where I think he's going to start here his rookie year. Now, that's not to say that uh, those numbers could go up, you know, depending on the durability of Cole Beasley. He's been pretty durable. He's been pretty good. He takes some big hits and gets up. This dude's tough, man. I love Cole Beasley, man. He's a he's a first down machine. I feel like we have that in Ryan Switzer. First and ten. All right. 
I like that jersey number, number 10. I'm gonna get it done here. All right, so what do you guys think? What, what, what do you think Ryan Switzer's gonna um, do here on the field as far as production? If you gave your best guess, all right, considering where he is on the uh, depth chart, and who's in front of him and that kind of thing. How many uh, catches or yards, touchdowns, do you think Ryan Switzer will have this season? All right. Let me know in the comments, all right? I really, I'm really interested to see what you guys think. Um, but other than that, that's it for now, guys. We'll have another video here tomorrow. Um, I do have another quick question for you guys. Uh, would you like to see me do any kind of live uh, broadcasts? been kind of thinking about doing that here uh, recently uh, but just want to you know check the pulse with you guys here if I did a live event would you guys be interested in that kind of thing please let me know in the comments here I really appreciate it all right but uh, as usual can't do this without you guys I really appreciate every single one of you keep coming with the comments keep churning them here the discussion's been awesome and uh, you know, that kind of thing. So we'll see what we do here for tomorrow. But that's it, guys. We'll see you here for the next video. Thanks, guys.